Does your camera not have a flip up, flip side screen just the same as my Nikon Z6? Well, this little thing is an unbelievable practical solution for just £23. A 45 degree mirror screen that you attach to the hot shoe mount and you flip the screen and you actually see yourself when you're vlogging. How cool is that? Quite a few cameras actually nowadays have this sort of tilt screen solution. So this isn't even designed for the Nikon Z6, yet it just works with it. So basically this way the camera now can see the monitor at the top and if I point it a little bit up I can see the whole monitor at the top and I'm shooting this on the 20mm f1.8 the old G lens but as I've got the uh, wireless go road microphone at the top connected to a one of the three hot shoe mounts that are around the the plastic case of the um, UU rig 45 degree monitor uh, I've got my microphone in here and you cannot hear the auto focusing of the 20 mil old FTZ mount adapted lens um, in the voice. So this is pretty cool. And I can see my audio levels in the monitor, which is amazing because otherwise you cannot see audio levels when you're vlogging on the um, Z6. Yeah, but talk is cheap. So let me show you exactly what I see from a kind of a first person perspective when vlogging with the mirror up. And this is not just for the Nikon Z6, really any other camera uh, that doesn't have a flip side or flip up screen that you can see when you're vlogging, um, you can use with this. Uh, this UU rig actually hasn't been designed for the Nikon Z6, it actually has been advertised as for the Sony A7 Mark III. But it works perfectly fine uh, with the Nikon Z6. I can see the whole screen. It is amazing actually that what you're gonna get for 23 pounds. This is ingenious and it's got the hot shoe mounts at the top. How amazing is that? Like this is something that you absolutely need to get if you have one of these cameras. Yes, of course, I do have the Ninja 5 with the massive battery and the SSD attached and it's huge and it's heavy and I would not want to have that brilliant, like absolutely amazing uh, five inch monitor, the, the brightness of it, the uh, you know sharpness of the screen. It really shows the footage in an amazing quality. But when you're vlogging, do you really need this? You know, like I'm not vlogging in 10 bit or raw. I just don't need it. I really just need to see my audio levels. I need to see my composition, if it's too bright, if it's too dark, and that's it. And this mirror, rather than an actual screen monitor, does just that. So I mounted the Insta360 GO on top of the lens using this monstrous rig. And now it sort of gives you a perspective of what you can see, but it's a bit too wide to what I'm actually seeing. But otherwise, uh, this is roughly what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a slightly narrower view, so I have to tilt up or to see my settings at the bottom. Uh, but if I want to see the top of the screen, I'm just literally looking forward at it. This seriously puts a big, massive smile on my face because, you know, all these fancy monitors are Thomas Ninja Vs and stuff like that that can do raw and everything. Yeah, 23 pounds mirror screen that solves your vlogging needs does all this. Amazing. And that's it really. I ordered it from Amazon US. Uh, it's not available on Amazon UK for some reason. It was $29, uh, came up to be 23 pounds. It got shipped to me within about two weeks. And this is it, it comes with a pouch. It's a 45 degree uh, mirror screen that you attach to a hot shoe mount. And what else is there to say about this? It works, you can see your screen, you can see your audio levels if you're too bright, too dark, and it is an essential piece of kit. If you're doing any kind of vlogging or on the go, or even in the studio, and you don't want to invest money in a big, expensive, brilliant, but expensive monitor like the Ninja V um, with uh, all the capabilities of N-Log and RAW. If you do not need that, this little monitor, what a find. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this review, please hit the like button and subscribe. My name is Michael. I'm a time-lapse architecture and cityscape photographer based in London. And as it's COVID-19 quarantine lock time time all around London, uh, 
here I am on my balcony where I might actually do a couple of more reviews like this in the future. If you got any suggestions or any other kit that you know that I use that you would like to see a proper review here on my balcony, well, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.